that everything Satan has stolen in the name that is above all names, I'm praying for you, it must be restored this night. Not next week, it must be restored this night. There are people, some of them listening to me now, once upon a time, you could build a house for people without thinking twice. Today, you can plead for 20,000 Naira. Your brain did not disappear. Satan visited you. Hallelujah. Once great, once blessed, once anointed, once upon a time, with all due respect around the world there are many vibrant people who used to serve the lord with energy if you hear that they are coming to town or you hear that they are coming to a nation i mean you just have to pray that you are even able to reach there but today they call on a nation and nobody answers can i tell you the worst thing that can happen to a man is to once be in a position where god places you and then in your lifetime and also in the presence of those you raised you go down i forbid it over your life <laughs> hallelujah some of your parents some of our parents in their lifetime they were blessed they loved Jesus. They had influence. Some of you saw people line up in your houses just to see your parents. But in old age, they are alone. Everybody, you had to change your surname because if you still use that name, it may program failure for you. Come on now. Satan for you. Mm. You have known the works of God. I think I was teaching for who now? I think it was, it was Bishop Adejumo and i shared something in that meeting i still remember there are things when you see you know is a man that has done it there are things when you see you know it is god that has done it but there are things when you see you know that this is satan hallelujah a man comes to meet you and say young lady i like you you're a nice lady let me go and see your parents and then satan intercepts and all of a sudden doesn't pick the call again doesn't do anything again what happened i had a dream and i saw that you were a witch come on now satan for you i'm, I'm saying this because i'm going to pray for someone anything that has taken away your glory any demonic thing that is bringing you to a point of shame i call upon my god who is also your god he must give way be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now Hallelujah. Please sit down. With all due respect, there are people today perhaps they would have been appointed in certain great positions around the world. But just before the appointments get there, there were some Ahitophels who reached before them and said, do you know what? Don't lift this woman. Don't lift this man. And they have remained so. I made up my mind that that story once great will never be used in my life. No, that story once anointed, once impactful. But to, to keep that testimony, it takes more than a heart of integrity. You must know what to do with Satan. Hallelujah. You must know what to do with Satan. I once prayed for a lady, true story. This lady met me and she said, Apostle, you must pray for me. I think I'm possessed. I said, how do you just come and say you are possessed? She said, I don't understand. Everybody keeps having dreams that I'm either pursuing them or killing them. It's my face they keep seeing. More than, according to her, over 10 people in the church. And then, of course, they will share with the church leaders. And everybody just told them, avoid this lady. And some already had called her a witch. A faithful worker in the church. And she noticed that her leaders, true story, the leaders who avoid her, everybody who avoid her because they go to bed and they see her face. I can tell you that is a satanic manipulation because her destinies around that vicinity and Satan may know that in her rising, maybe the rising of her family members, Satan is very calculative. He makes sure that what he attacks must create a ripple effect. Who can I touch in this family? That will affect the 20 other people oh you are the one then he comes do you know why you lost the job it's not just an issue of incompetence you better open your eyes and see that this was an attack because in your getting that job 
is the health, the nourishment, and the stability of every other person in your family. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. A dear woman one time reached me and she said she gave birth to according to her now and I'm saying it because she had shared the testimony herself she gave birth to a normal son very fine very normal son and then I think about the age of three or four he began to exhibit hyperactive you know he started behaving you know this and that and they went to the hospital only to say that the boy was autistic and she said, I never gave birth to an autistic child. This child was normal. This child was this and that. And they gave some drugs and she just felt that's all right. You see, carelessness again. That was a time to attack this thing with energy. No, let him just grow a while. And they found out that the thing was getting, he was becoming violent. And I said, Madam, you are not just a mother. You are not just a wife. You are a priest. If you ignore that duty, is not only this child everything satan does is not the only thing he wants to do it's just the first thing he's doing did you hear what i said every attack satan launches on your life is only part one i assure you there is part two three four and part infinity coming to the degree to which you allow him but as for me from onset i don't have the time to waste immediately not koinonia not joshua selman the blood is upon this ministry in the name of jesus christ is someone learning now this is where the place of spiritual intelligence comes learn to discern where, when satan is around the vicinity negative things start happening someone who used to love you now hates you for no reason don't sit down saying my boss and finding flimsy excuses he is not my tribe that's why they will soon drive you out of that place go and shut the door and say i know i know that when you grant favor oh god you grant favor completely in the name of jesus the spirit around my place of work that is making them antagonize me i call the name of the god of jeshuron and i curse you over this office hallelujah there are preachers with all due respect that begin to see the movement of Satan around their ministries. Stories are flying around. Things are happening around. People are becoming rebellious, antagonistic. It is not a leadership problem alone. It is a spiritual problem. It means that Satan has discerned the impact of that organization, that ministry, and he's coming to scatter everything. Your assignment is to learn to hold on to the four horns of the altar and pray. In one week, you spent over one million treating mysterious sicknesses. Your husband became sick. Just when you were trying to help him, the children became sick. Then you hit your car somewhere, and then the generator stopped spoiling, and then everything is happening, and you find out you are getting angry without cause you can't pray you can't fast it's an attack it's not psychology it's an attack a once brilliant child now that you started paying school fees of say 1.5 million per term because of your passion to invest someone who used to be the brightest in the class now does not know he's about maybe the second to the last and you keep quiet and he keeps going down one time the school calls you and say we're sorry we may have to relieve you, your child. It is not your child's being dull. It is called the waster. There is something called the waster in scripture. Is someone learning? The waster. Demonic attacks are real. I assure you by God, demonic attacks are real. Satan attacks men. He attacks ministries. I told you that there are demons allocated over territories. There are spirits allocated over, you know, generally believers to stop the purposes of God. But there are spirits that are allocated. They follow mantles. They follow offices, not men. Whoever holds that office and holds that mantle will have to contend with that spirit. There are spirits that follow ministries, not men. So there is a widespread manifestation of certain disasters. How will you like to be part of a ministry that you hear that in one month, 25 people just died mysteriously? It will now make sense to say that, could it be that something is happening? And in, in, in peace, you will leave. 
that is Satan for you. I'm saying it again in the name of Jesus. Every attack, because some of you, you came to church tonight, you are in the middle of an inexplainable battle rising from left and center. What is happening in my life? God, give me an explanation. And I'm telling you that for many of you, it is just an assault, an attack from Satan. Now listen, one one of the signature proof that satan has visited you is your health listen listen this health you see i know that there are many doctors here and with all due respect i honor and i respect you we're having a training already for medical practitioners but can i tell you with all humility i've been in this business of ministry and the spirit life for a while i know what satan does it is impossible for Satan to attack you and leave your health. It's a lie. How do you know? Mysterious manifestations. They first start small. He tests your capacity in the spirit and then you keep quiet. It's just continuous headache that comes every month. It's just, it's just some demonic thing. Um, help them, please. I, I know that this thing, I'm just feeling serious pain. I went to the hospital and they said it's nothing. Um, it's, just a, it's just a mild bleeding situation. It, the, the doctor said he does not understand, but he's still there. I just know that every time I lie down, I see myself in a coffin somewhere and I wake up tired. My friend, get up from the strength of spiritual intelligence and begin to deal with that issue. Otherwise, you would decide destroy your life hallelujah praise the name of the Lord know when it is just a medical situation and when spirits have participated with you. there are certain tiredness that is not because of the work you are doing it's an attack from hell hallelujah heart pain headache and they tell you they found a tumor at the back of your head how did it get there we don't know what is going to happen now you need 10 million 15 million and you've saved just when you save to finally build a house i tell you it's an attack don't smile and say it's all right it's just part of these things hallelujah it's good to eat well walk with what the doctors say i eat well i make sure i eat healthy don't be careless but in addition to it, please come to terms with the fact that we live in a real world and don't let satan lie to you taking advantage of age you are not the first person to be old. Refuse that thing that the older you are getting, the more you should deteriorate. I don't know about you, but I choose to reject it. No, as my days are, so shall my strength be. This is what my Bible teaches me. If you don't believe this, you will get into trouble. One day you will wake up, a young man, 30, 40 years, you stand up as if you are 80 years. Reject that spirit. It's like a part of me does not want to get up. No, everything God gave me must obey me. Everything. If it's part of my body must obey me. I wake up in the morning, my head you must wake up. My heart you wake up too. My respiratory system you must wake up. Speak to your body in one minute. In the name of Jesus, I will not die. I challenge every health condition. You bow to the name of Jesus. My eyes will see till my days are done. My feet will walk till my days are done. My hands will reach till my days are done. Go ahead, take a minute and speak. No weakness, no limitation, strength in my body. I cause cancer, I cause fibroid. I cause prostate cancer. I cause eye condition, cataract, glaucoma. I cause you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You believe what you are doing? Satan attacks men. He attacked Jesus. 
he attacked the apostles he attacks everything pro god he attacks everything pro grace he attacks everything pro life he attacks everything pro destiny he attacks everything pro wisdom your assignment is to be on your guard and not let him take advantage of you hallelujah praise the name of the lord your business was working well but the day you said i would take 20 percent out of my business to fund the gospel and sponsor children maybe young people who cannot make it satan said what did you say that jesus will benefit from this business all right i'm on my way coming hallelujah someone wants to bless you that's when they forget someone promises to lift you that is when they forget they vow calling the name of jesus that this week you will smile that is when they forget is your assignment to force them to remember no 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 listen if you are a businessman here and things have not been working please when it's time to pray i'm releasing my faith with you be serious and pray be serious and pray don't say my uncle was just made a commissioner or my uncle was just made a senator the arm of flesh will fail you all. You need to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. You can follow us on all our social media handles at Fleming Channel. Also, visit our website at www.flemingchannel.com. Thank you and God bless you. I hope you're mightily blessed by this video you just watched. And if you have not given your life to Christ, this is the avenue for you to do so. Do it like, share, and comment on all our videos. Don't forget to hit the subscription button to get updates from this channel. Grow in grace and in the knowledge of Christ. Stay calm.